EVE Online is completely unsupported on Steam Deck, apparently. Well, it did crash the first time I launched it on standard Proton, but with Proton 7.17 using Proton QT up, this ran absolutely fine. And you can see here I'm holding 60 frames per second, and you'll see as I show the settings in a little while that this is all on medium. Panning around is looking absolutely gorgeous. The Steam Deck screen is just so good, and it, this game just looks so beautiful on the Steam Deck. It is a little bit fiddly with the controllers, but it does load a community layout by default with some mouse commands and scroll commands for various bits and pieces, and it actually works very well out of the box. As you can see here, medium settings across the board and 1280 by 800 resolution was not an issue. Now some of the text is a little bit hard to read, but if you know your way around EVE Online, it's not going to be a huge problem for you. And it is still more than playable, especially if you expand that left menu, as you can see I have here. It makes navigating around so much easier and actually quite enjoyable. So if you are looking to play EVE Online on your Steam Deck, then using Proton 717, you shouldn't have any issues. With full medium settings here, it does hold a steady 60 frames per second, except for when we get into combat. As you'll see here, with a lot of shooting effects going on, it does bounce between 40 and 60 occasionally, but it's still more than playable. I'll leave you with a bit of the battle here that I really should not have got myself into, just so you can see that performance without me talking. Let us know in the comments below if there is a game that you are on the lookout for, and if it's in our library, we'll take a look. Thanks for watching and see you next time.